Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beverly, and it is so lovely to see you today. In this video we are going to be making a Valentine's dress, so grab that cup of tea, let's get to it. <laughs> I am I'm nervous because I haven't sewn for a while I do have other sewing content here on the channel so I'll leave a link to that down below but yeah I'm just learning I'm teaching myself my mum's here helping me out as well and I thought it'd be really nice to just chill out together and uh, do some sewing because I love sewing it's really fun and you can make like your clothing more accessible easier to wear nicer to wear more comfortable it's just a win-win all round so um really excited the pattern we're going to be using is this one this is new look k6574 and we are actually making this dress but not short we're making it long like this so it's going to be long but it's going to have little puff sleeves which i think will be really really cute i'm nervous about making puff sleeves but um that's okay that's why my mom's here to talk me through the hard stuff but i'm really really excited to make this pattern i'm pretty sure i got this yeah i got this in a magazine it came free with a magazine called so www.sewmag.co.uk so i'll leave a link to that down below this is not sponsored in any way i bought the magazine i got this free and i thought it'd be fun to make together i wanted to make it like really cottage core and cute whimsical you know that whole vibe i just love so a while back now i thrifted this bedding this bedding is so cute it's like fake patchwork it's in pink and grey it has these lovely areas and it has roses on it in pink and I just thought wouldn't this look so cute as like a whimsical valentine's dress how cute is that I also thrifted bedding these are just plain sheets I always thrift these when I see them because they're great to use for lining which is what I'm going to be doing for this project I'm going to just use this as the lining of the dress so that's a little cheap thing for you if you're just learning to sew or you don't want to use fabrics that because the fabric industry is very wasteful and very expensive so if you're trying to be a bit better to the planet better to thrift you can thrift curtains you can thrift bedding you can thrift all sorts of things which makes sewing a lot easier and a lot cheaper i already had this thread here so I'm just going to be using that. I got it for another project. Uh, probably got it from a local sewing shop. I also already had this 22 inch. It's like white but not completely white zip. So I'm going to be using that. And I collect buttons. Vintage buttons. Whenever I see them in like charity shops I'll grab them. And I just have a big jar. It's like literally full of buttons now. But I have these really cute little pearlescent red buttons that I thought would look really nice so it requires two buttons but I'm not going to be doing buttonholes and things and I was talking about this with my best friend Louise I find buttons really inaccessible I don't have much feeling in my hands and fingers and because of that buttons can be quite difficult especially small buttons like this very difficult to use very very difficult so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put press studs underneath and just sew the button on top so why not make it easier I'm making this clothing for myself why not make it easier for myself so I haven't bought anything new everything's just out of my stash which I absolutely love definitely take the time to look for sewing things like buttons and zippers and patterns and things at your charity shops try and get them second hand as much as you can it saves you a fortune so so far this project hasn't really cost me anything I think the bedding is usually about £2.50 each but before we get to the actual sewing make sure if you're new here you click the subscribe button to become part of the butterfly family we would absolutely love to have you here you are more than welcome 
don't forget to leave this video a cheeky little like and a comment down below as it helps me to know and the YouTubiverse to know that you enjoyed the video and it gets it shared more and helps me to grow this channel so very much appreciated to everybody who is doing that I, uh, I love you all very much but as always the best way to support me here at the channel is through Ko-fi and Patreon. Over at Ko-fi you can leave me a little tip if there's a video or a blog post that has helped you especially but if you're looking for a more regular way of supporting me here at the channel and helping me to do all the videos that I make then you can head down to Patreon for just £2 a month you can support me here at the channel and it does help me so much more than you can imagine. I am so inspired by everybody who is helping me over there to keep me going and giving me just that little bit of money that's going to help me to keep doing projects like this. So uh, yeah, if you're interested, no pressure, but the links are down below. But even if all you do is like, comment and subscribe, that is more than enough to keep me a happy little butterfly. But uh, let's get over to the dining room table and do some cutting out which is arguably the worst part of any sewing project. Hello everyone, I was trying to do less of my face on here so the videos aren't so long but I did want to just pop in and explain what happened yesterday. So I've been sewing uh, the last few days with my mum's help and I thought I understood what I was doing, I thought I was doing it correctly but after phoning with my best friend Louise who has helped me before, I'll leave a link to her channel down channel she doesn't have a YouTube channel to her website even to her website down below because she really helped me through and I've gotten quite far now it's all the, the, the bodice of it is all done so I'm feeling pretty good about myself now very grateful to Louise for kind of just going let go of the anxiety just do the steps just do it just do it so Today we are hitting the sleeves. It's a new day, we're gonna let go of any fears, let go of any anxiety, and we're just gonna try and move through the day, move through the steps.
Hello everyone. So we're hopefully on our last day of sewing today. It is Saturday. It has been a full week of sewing. I've literally done nothing but sew and sleep. So <laughs> let me just explain what happened yesterday. Yesterday I was I just didn't understand the neck at all. I'd never done anything or seen any kind of neckline like they wanted me to do and so my wonderful best friend Louise got on a video call and explained it to me. So yesterday off camera I did the neck. So this is, it was really really complicated but it looks really good now it's done. I um, yeah I don't know what this is especially called like this neckline I don't know if it has like a specific name or something but you know we do our best here in this house we're not the best sewers we're learning and I am really I have a lot of belief in myself to learn how to do this I'm really enjoying it but I also have to give myself a little bit of grace. You are supposed to sew in the groove. Mine's a little bit out of that, but I really don't think people, generally speaking, are gonna notice that when it's on. So, I mean, I like the way the top has come together. I think it looks really cute. I love the patchwork detailing with the sleeves and the neckline just brings the sleeves together. I think it's gonna look really, really Nice. Still needs finishing off and needs attaching to the skirt, but we're getting there. So today we are putting the skirt together, then we're attaching the skirt to the bodice, adding in the zip, sewing up the back seam, and adding the details on the front. I will say I have made this more accessible by instead of having two buttons with a loop the loop the loop kind of fastening on them like the pattern is asking for I'm just going to sew two buttons on as an extra detail and then I'm going to use little hook and eyes because um, buttons can be tricky for my fingers I do struggle because I can't really feel my hands very well so learning skills like sewing is a really good way to make my clothing more accessible and you know what it really makes me thankful that I can learn this skill and I can learn how to make it more accessible for me.
let's talk about zips <laughs> and my fear of zips they are fiddly and they're not easy to do but we've got a 22 incher to do today so um, I'm just going to take my time um, one really big lesson that I've learned with this is not to let my machine just run away with me I quite often feel like I'm just clinging on like I'm on a, like a roller coaster or something just like ah! I, I am learning to slow down and go at my own pace so I'm just gonna take my time make sure it's in the right place do my best that's all I can do I'm a very much a beginner I've made like four things so far there is a whole playlist of sewing things adventures so I'll leave a link to that down below but let's just try our best shall we that's all we can do just try our best and be proud of what we've achieved the dress what do you think guys I think this is a really pretty dress I love the fabric that I managed to thrift this was £2.50 
bedding and I think it's really really cute this is the pattern it was a freebie from a magazine and would I make it again no I shall tell you why I won't make this again and there's a couple of things it's really pretty one thing is the sleeves are poofy they would be really poofy but I think they would work better if it was a shoulder seam and then added a poofy sleeve whereas how they are now they just kind of slope down that might be my making skills let me know if you're a sewer if that's me and my making or if that is the pattern also I don't know if you can see but this is open to about here which is where my bra is <laughs> and for some reason it's just I mean it's meant to be open it's meant to be open and you're meant to have two buttons holding it open because it's just the seam open it doesn't sit open like I've done um I did a 1960s dress if I remember I'll put a picture and I'll link it down below but that had like a loop here that was really really pretty detailed but you did actually sew it round it was actually cut out to be a peephole and I think this would work better if it was but because it's just a continuation of the seam it just kind of sits like that I haven't sewed it together what I did was I took the hooks and eyes off and I added press studs and then there's just a button on the outside that's just how I've done it also the sleeves um, I can't lift my arms up very high there there's not enough fabric here it just kind of stops you so you can't lean forward you can't I mean I don't know but I love the this part of the dress and I love the skirt it fits really really well it's very flattering it's a really nice dress as long as you don't have to lift your arms up or do much but I wouldn't make the pattern again I do like the dress I'm really proud of myself that I've done this I haven't sewn anything in a while as you all know so it's been really nice to get back to sewing very proud of myself let me know what you think down below if you're a sewer you have any tips or tricks or things I could do better or worse do you like this style of vlog I've done it a little bit differently than I have in the past let me know all your thoughts as always a link to the sewing playlist will be down below in the description so go and check that out as always a big huge thank you to my wonderful patreons big thank you to Ravin thank you to Kirsty Nelms who did all my branding as always a link to her branding company is down below if you like my branding my intro my outro all my banners and everything and you would like to do the same for your YouTube channel link to her is down below thank you to Margaret Finlay thank you to Sarah O'Donoghue who keeps us very safe over in the discord server that you get access to if you are a patreon and last but certainly not least thank you Lindsay Wynn Stanley don't forget if you would like to be a part of the Patreon family and to help me out here on the channel long term it's just £2 a month you get access to a monthly vlog a discord server we have like monthly chats weekly chats it's lovely over there it's a really nice little family and I would love to see it grow and sprinkle a little butterfly magic a little bit further into the world so if you would like to support me over there and help me keep on learning to so etc links are down below so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to let me know by leaving it a cheeky like and a comment this lets me know that you enjoyed it as well as the youtubiverse who will spread out the love and help other people to find the channel i would love to grow this channel I keep on seeing more people in the butterfly family so definitely make sure you do those huge thanks to everyone who has so far don't forget also if you are new here you can click the subscribe button and ring that little bell to know when I upload. I'm usually here on Fridays, but sometimes on Mondays. It just depends what's going on in my life. I always try my best to have at least one video out for you every week. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful, magical week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.